Welcome to the iPilot installation video for the PowerDrive V2 trolling motor. iPilot is designed to be a fairly simple installation and we will walk you through each step in detail. If you have any questions after watching the videos, please call our technical service line at 1-800-227-6433. Before we get started, make sure that your trolling motor is properly secured and that it is in a clean, dry space. Disconnect all power to the trolling motor. This will ensure your safety and protect the electronics that you are about to install. Also, make sure that you have the following tools available. A Phillips screwdriver, a needle nose pliers, and a heat gun or some other heat source for installing the heat shrink tubing. If a foot pedal is connected to the trolling motor, it must be disconnected. Once iPilot is installed, the foot pedal cannot be used unless iPilot is completely uninstalled. We now want to remove the control box cover and side plates. There are four screws to remove the side plates. I've already removed three, and here is the fourth. There are four screws to remove the control box cover as well. Again, I've already removed three, and here is the fourth. The next step is to remove the autopilot assembly. Using your needle nose pliers, firmly grasp all six connectors and pull them out. Now we need to remove the circuit board. Push the locking tabs out and lift the board straight up. Finally, grasp the compass and lift it out. Next, we need to remove the grommet by firmly pressing down until it pops out. Now we will install the iPilot controller. Route the iPilot cable through the grommet hole, and then through the center of the coil cord. The next step is to install the new grommet. Position the grommet over the wire, slide it up, and snap it into place. The wires that were previously removed now need to be secured. Using a needle nose pliers, push all six autopilot connectors onto the terminal holders located on the underside of the controller. The wires can go on the holders in any order. Properly securing the terminals is very important to ensure they remain separated and to prevent any electrical short. Here is what it looks like after all six connectors are secured. Now, secure the iPilot controller using the four supplied screws. I've already installed three, and here's the fourth. Now that the controller is attached, Secure the iPilot controller cable to the motor coil cord using three of the zip ties provided. And then trim the zip ties. Next, we need to remove the center housing. Push in on both sides of the housing while lifting up. Locate the connectors on the black and white wires and pull them apart. Next, using a Phillips screwdriver, loosen the cable strain relief which is secured to the base of the motor. Position the iPilot steering cable into the open slot. Now tighten the strain relief. The cable should slide freely when properly installed. Locate the black and white wires coming through the center housing. Now find the black and white wires coming from the iPilot steering cable. This is the cable that we just routed through the strain relief. Plug the connectors together. 
Locate the remaining two disconnected wires. Position the heat shrink over one of the connectors. Make sure none of the connector is exposed. Now apply heat. Next, pinch the end of the heat shrink to create a tight seal. We'll now follow the same process for the remaining connector. Now it's time to reinstall the center housing and side plates. Push the housing down until the side fingers lock into place. Make sure all cables are routed through the exit hole of the housing. Next, reinstall the side plates using a Phillips screwdriver. After you have all four screws installed, connect the iPilot cable to the motor cable while verifying proper orientation. Make sure the connector nut is tight. Your iPilot installation is now complete. To ensure everything is working properly before getting on the water, please refer to the verifying installation section of your owner's manual.